Hello everyone, you doing alright? I welcome myself back to you guys. Now, just sort of a, a thought off subject, I'm pretty sure the videos on this subject have been done already, but I thought, you know what, I wouldn't mind talking about my side of things for a bit. Bad video gaming sequels, or which video gaming sequels are bad? Do you feel that certain video gaming sequels have actually ruined certain video game titles? You see, um, when I think of video gaming sequels, uh, primarily related to my childhood, which I remember a certain video game when this is mentioned is Banjo-Kazooie because sometimes when a certain video game is made it should be left alone other times, yeah okay, it may need a sequel to continue if it feels like it's like an ongoing continuation of a video game like uh, Resident Evil, that's had many sequels Final Fantasy, that's had many sequels, you know, just for example but what do I say Banjo-Kazooie? Well, Apart from being an, an, an outstanding goldmine of a gem for the Nintendo 64, um, then the sequel Banjo Tooie came out, which by the way I have not yet played. Forgive me for that one, um, but I have played Nuts and Bolts. Actually, speaking of which, I've played Banjo Tooie briefly on the free Xbox 360, but you know it's not the same, is it? So, with that being said, however, when I played Nuts and Bolts, I feel like, what's this? What kind of rubbish am I playing here? This doesn't feel like a Banjo Kazooie game. What is it? So that was one example of a bad sequel. See, certain video games should be left. Um, my favourite Resident Evils are actually the first two. Still got to play number three. Oh. <laughs> which has got Nemesis in it, I believe. Yes, good old Nemesis. Uh, I've seen the Resident Evil movies, which are terrible. But in any case, with the fact that there's a lot of video gaming video games out there, sorry, yeah, that have some good sequels, others not so much. You see, when you think of certain sequels, you feel like, oh, this game's been thrown a lot of dirt on because this certain game, the first one or the first two, always be the best. But later on down the line, you're going to keep on making sequels. That's just going to destroy the game itself. I don't know, some games have it right. If they're not really generic, that's fine. If they come up with new ideas, new landscapes, new characters, new plots and twists and turns, then yeah, absolutely, certain sequels are needed and perhaps we'll add some uh, shining light on that video game in Saga, so to speak. But the thing is, when you look at retro games from the past, some of them don't really need a sequel, whereas, whereas some others may need to be remade, which in some cases is fine, because I can understand that when a game feels really, really old, it's known as a classic and whatnot, and to appeal to the younger gamers, you know, maybe like, mm, not many video game ideas are out today, let's take something from the past and put it into a new kettle of porridge with a little bit of jam on top. So with that being said, there are some good exceptions that when a, a retro game or a classic game, an old, old school game, whichever term you're going for, when it's remade, it feels like a, a really good remake. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, look at the very first Ninja Gaiden to the Ninja Gaiden's way it is now. I still love the Ninja Gaiden way back. Just like I love the old Super Mario games and the good old Mario Karts. Usually when games have a good remake, a good remake, sorry that's, that's wrong, a remake, you know, some video gamers will get a bit sceptical, which is fine because there have been a lot of video games that have been remade into terrible, terrible sequels. I'm pretty sure you can think of games from your own personal nostalgic era or games that you played recently that you can think of. But yeah, so I don't want to go too much on this. I'm trying to keep it brief. But there are and have been bad sequels to video games. On the other hand, there have been some good ones. Uh, I, would, I would be really interested in knowing which ones that you like and which ones you don't like when it comes to sequels. Which games do you actually feel that has been ruined? Okay, my fellow video gaming minions. So it's just an off the subject that just came into my mind. I thought, yeah, you know, video gaming sequels. Because I'm thinking like, because um, video game companies now, are they making good sequels? As opposed to retro times. In fact, as well, what do you prefer when sequels were made like in the PS1, PS2, GameCube, Dreamcast, N64, you know, the retro times of gaming? Or do you think like with modern gaming, making sequels seems a bit generic or much less the same. In any case, I'd love to hear your opinions on it. All right, so you take good care of yourselves, my fellow video gaming minions, and may retro gaming live on.